really important, you know, partly because it's the next one and our goals will be one to know every week. But like I said, this is a great opponent. It's going to be a great atmosphere. Uh, it's our, our seniors' last go around. It's this uh, team's last go around, uh, you know, um, on Mountaineer Field. Um, so it'll be, a, you know, a, a, like I said, a really fun game and opportunity to go play a good opponent and, um, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, represent Mountaineer Nation as best we can, go out with a win. On the point of senior day, I mean, have you had any emotions about the fact that this will be the last time for you playing at Mountaineer Field? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I'm not a hugely emotional guy. Um, but definitely, it's it's you know this this is this place is home, and I've uh, you know kind of given my life to this place and tried to represent the state and the program and um, as best I can. And, and been had the, they they gave me an opportunity. Uh, when I say they, I mean the state, the school. You know, I, I graduated from here. I've lived here. My daughter was born here. There's a lot of things that mean a lot to me about this place. And uh, you know, I wish it wasn't my last one, but um, you know it is, and you got to move on. And uh, you know, really, this uh, like I said, I hope I'll go out, you know, on top and, and uh, you know represent the, uh, everything as best I can. Uh, but this is a life thing. I think that's part of being a Mountaineer is, is I will represent this place for the rest of my life and uh, try to be a good role model in the community and uh, you know really represent what it means to to be a Mountaineer. Oklahoma's been giving up a lot of points, a lot of yards the last couple of weeks. What have you seen out of them on film so far on the defensive side? Uh, they're they're talented. They got a lot of good players. Um, you know, I think they, they went through a change halfway through the year, so they changed some things up. And, uh, you know, I think that they, uh, they're they a really good team and they're a good program. So they have they have good players, they have depth, um, and they, they fly around, they make plays. I think, uh, you know, partly because their offense scores so fast, their defense is out there a lot. Um, a lot of snaps in every game, so I think some of the yards and stats may be a little skewed uh, in that aspect. But... Uh, you know, this is a good team and a good opponent. You know, we have to come prepared to play our best, and, and um, you know, they do some they do some good things. They they uh, mix some stuff up. They're not they're not as exotic as some teams that we've played, like like Oklahoma State was. Uh, they they're a little bit more base. They do uh, a lot of different things, like every defense does. You know, they mix in and out of stuff, and uh, they play quarters. They play three. They play some man on third down. Um, and you know, we like like I said, you know, we, we're ready. Uh, we'll, we'll continue to prepare and, and, and go out there and, and try and execute. We got to be one to know this week. What do you guys need to do better this week? Um, you know, it's general improvements that you that you go through throughout the entire season. You know, there's things that uh, you know we did at TCU that we improved on Oklahoma State and did better. Uh, so now we watch that film and say, you know, these are new things we need to improve on, or things we need to go back and work on and practice this week to sharpen up on. Um, and I don't think it's major things. I think the major thing that, that, that helps most when it comes to winning football games at this level in this conference is playing hard, uh, playing with effort, um, playing with passion on every play. It kind of takes care of some scheme stuff, you know. Um, and uh, we'll correct some of the little things that will, that will help uh, in games like this. You know, you gotta, it's, you don't, you're never going to play a perfect game, but these are games against good opponents where you have to play a really clean game. You have to be... Um, you know, really prepared to go out there and, and, and play. How much will this group talk about this being a legacy moment for you guys, this opportunity? Yeah, no, it's it's definitely, it's, it's a great opportunity, and we've discussed it. Um, but as, as leaders, you know, when you talk about that group, uh, as leaders we have to focus on, you know, the team and the rest of the guys that are, uh, you know, going out, and this this may not be their last time playing on Mountaineer Field, but they understand the importance of being one to know every week. You know, we said it week one, week six, week eight, and still this week, it's it's about being one to know. That's always been our goal, um, and we we can't let anything distract us from that. Um, and our focus needs to be on preparing to, and, and to beat Oklahoma on Friday. Uh, but clearly, there is a legacy that comes along with that, which would be awesome for this for for us and for Mountaineer for Mountaineer Nation. Um, uh, and that gets done by us continuing to focus on our goal and, and our preparation. In a situation like this, is it in any way hard to keep it from being me against him instead of us against them? Uh, not for me. I, I don't. I don't see it in that way at all. Um, I, I see it like I see every other week, and, and, and being one another, preparing to play a, a good opponent. We played a lot of good opponents uh, this year. Uh, we got to prepare the way we have all year, and. Uh, try and be one to know this week. You know, that's I, I'm focused on our team. It's a team sport. You know, there's there's no 
Uh, there's individual battles going on on the field, but it, it's 11 of them that on one play, uh, and you got to win all of them to have a successful play. So it's 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 the greatest team sport there is, and, and it, it takes a team. You know, you can't. Uh, it, it's not uh, a game where you can just take over as an individual. Um, not a ping pong match. That's correct. <laughs> so, uh, no, it's uh, that. That's my focus. I understand the importance of team and understand the importance of preparing a team to go play another team, and that's that's what we're focused on. Third quarter struggles. Uh, sports time is, uh, this year that the team has not scored in the third quarter. Mm. What is a rationale or re reason? Uh, I mean, I, I mean, I, I don't think there's one specific thing you can point at other than, uh, you know, a lot of these uh, times we haven't scored in the third quarter. I think we've been up um, and we've come out at halftime, uh, you know, flat and not, not, you know, going out to play like we played when we came out in the first quarter, but instead kind of play to not lose. Um, and that can't be the mentality. You have to play hard and play with effort and play to win on every snap. That's just the nature of how, how it is, especially when you play good opponents, you know. Uh, I said it last week when we were preparing for Oklahoma State uh, that, you know, their record doesn't really show how good they are of a football team. They've been in a lot of close games. They've beaten really good teams, uh, and, and we knew that. And you can't uh, play not to lose against a team like that, you know. So uh, that may be a part of it, but there's so much more that goes into it. <coughs> Like I've said, with almost everything in football, there's, it's, it's such a team sport and there's so many uh, different uh, things that play into each play, each snap, that it, it's hard to really put your finger on one thing and say this is what it is, as opposed to a, a group of a lot of things that, that you have to correct uh, through preparation. And uh, Like I said, this, it's a hard game to be perfect because it takes 11 guys to be perfect to have a perfect play. Um, and that's not easy, you know, so it's uh, it's it's not it's not one thing. I think the the main thing is playing with effort. You know, if you if you prepare the right way, uh, you should be ready to go. And 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 it, all it takes is effort to, to execute as, as, at a high level. Um, and that's the best you can do. Has it been more about DCs making adjustments or do you think it's as you kind of I mean, more of an effort or mental? Yeah, thing? that's part of it. You know, that's you know, at halftime they. You go in, everybody makes adjustments. Uh, it's, a, it's an opportunity for offense and defense to, to kind of sit down with their team for a couple minutes and, uh, and, and, and make adjustments. And, and obviously, we've played a lot of good defenses and a lot of good defensive coordinators, and they've uh, made adjustments, which is definitely a part of it. Like I said, it's, and I don't think that's the only thing. I, like I mentioned, I think that it's a lot of uh, different things. That's, that's one of them. I think the, the biggest thing that you can preach to a team from a leader, from a coaching standpoint, uh, is effort and, and using the preparation from the week to go out. Um, you know, you, when you make adjustments, it can't be just new plays because it's not what you prepared all week. It's more about, you know, these plays against what they're doing and, and about playing with effort because um, that's where execution come from, comes from is, is playing with effort for what you prepared for. Um, and that's, that's really all you can preach to your team when it comes down to it because you can't go into halftime and say, well, they're going to do this, so let's completely change our offense and do this. But uh, effort takes care of a lot of that stuff, and as leaders and as coaches, that's what you have to preach uh, at halftime. And I think that's the main thing that's hurt us in the third quarter is we've came out a little flat. Um, you know, I think that there's been uh, times in the third quarter where we didn't come out flat, but we just got out executed or, or maybe outplayed, and um, you know that happens as well. So. so there's no one single simple trick. To Correct. I don't think you can just say, well, this is it, so let's change this and it's fixed, uh, which is the case with a lot of things in the sport, which, which kind of makes it fun and, and uh, you know, in interesting and, and, and tough. But um, that's, that's the nature of it. And uh, I've kind of come to the conclusion as a leader, the best thing, like I said, to preach to my teammates and my team. Uh, halftime coming out to the third quarter is energy, effort, and, and playing to win. What do you think is most about this? Man, there's, there's so many things. They're really, the the relationships you build in college football are, uh, you know, they're different. I, I mean, even when uh, I had the opportunity to play at Florida for a couple of years, and I still have lifelong friends I played with there, and, and I learned from a lot of great coaches, and that's uh, the same thing here. I've been around a lot of great people, not just in the the football room, but just around this around this place. You know, the the basketball. Uh, the basketball team, the, the I mean, at compliance office, everybody, you know, I've just run into a lot of really good people and, and built a lot of good relationships and learned a lot from people. Um, 
And at the end of the day, that's kind of what I appreciate most is just being able to, to talk to people and experience. And, and uh, you know, those relationships are, are really important and you cherish those things for a long time because uh, these, these relationships that when you're with people every day is, is uh, different than, than stuff you get from for the rest of your life. And uh, even different from high school, you know, I have high school friends that I still talk to, but it's different when... Uh, you put the hours in that you put in um, for this. You know, we sacrifice a lot of time uh, to, to be good at this sport. And uh, with that time, you know, we're all in here together, you know, doing the same thing. And, 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 you, and you build a strong bond, bond doing that. So um, there's a lot of things that I'll miss about this place, it, it just in, in general terms. But the thing I, that I'll miss most is, is just being in the foxhole with some of these guys. But you won't miss the potholes coming to, to, to the <laughs> Can't say I'll miss those, but, you know. <laughs> On the day you graduated high school, if someone had told you that your last regular season college game would be against Oklahoma for the Big 12 championship in Morgantown, <laughs> what, what might you have told them at that time? I would, have, I would have been blown away. It's just, um, <laughs> Wasn't even on your yeah. radar, huh? No, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but what can be on your radar, you know? That's part of the journey and part of the experience, and I wouldn't change it. And uh, I, I can't. I, I'm so thankful and grateful for the opportunity that I was given and the people that I've been around and, and learned from. And, uh, you know, it's, it's really molded me into who I am today, and I'm so appreciative of everything. And, uh, it's going to be fun, man. You know, one last time, like I said, I wish it wasn't, but it is. And all I can do is go out there and play the, as best as I can. Well, you this group of seniors, a lot of guys from different backgrounds, different paths to get here. But you all seem really tight. What's that bond like with, with this group, I guess, from your perspective? Yeah, well, I, I think it, it goes back to the off season. You know, almost every year you have a new group of guys, a lot of the same guys, but it's a new team. Uh, we had some new guys come in that, that were seniors that are from all over the place. And uh, some of us that played last year were seniors and kind of took over the leadership role. And it started in the off season. Uh, and like I mentioned, when you, when you sacrifice so much time towards a common goal uh, with other people, you build a really strong bond just in working. You know, the, the blood, sweat, and tears of it, of, uh, you know, just grinding in the off season when it's, when it's uncomfortable. Um, you build a really strong bond, so it's, it starts then, and then you go through experiences with guys, you know, battling against other teams and uh, the ups and downs of the season and uh, adversity and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, it, it's a bond like no other, it really is, and that's 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 why I was mentioning how I'll miss that more than anything because it's hard to replicate that in, in everyday life. I mean, this is truly a um, a bond that is, is built through you know the blood, sweat, and tears and uh, of, of hard work. Hey, well, do you ever Anything feel like you're you, playing against the other team? Kennedy McCoy. Um, that's interesting. I I, I do not. Um, you know, I think uh, that uh, that that's really interesting uh, question. But I, I think what what we look at, um, you know, as an offense is is we're encouraging our defense when they're out there to play well, um, and playing complementary football is a huge part of that. Is, is is using the momentum of them getting a big stop or, or something like that. But uh, we feel like we're playing another team because of how important. You know, when they get a huge turnover, how important that is for our offense. I mean, we can't recreate that um, on our own. 